Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. This is a follow-up video to the Thermal Right Silver Arrow unboxing and quick look and the Thermal Right Silver Arrow in-depth tour video. This is basically the temperature video where I will show you guys what the temperatures of the CPU cooler are. I have both of the TY140 fans running off the motherboard at full 12 volts. They're running at their advertised rate of 1300 RPM, pushing 73 CFM. They're mounted in the push-pull position. And then there is a 120 millimeter case fan in the rear that is on full 12 volts, and that is pushing almost 80 CFM out of the case. So it's a good stream of air going through here. There is not, however, a fan up here. But there's a 120 millimeter fan here and a 140 millimeter fan mounted here. I did this test uh, and I ran it with the side panel on. I just took the side panel on off here a couple minutes ago to show you guys what the temperatures are. So looking over here, running an E4500 overclocked to 3 gigahertz, and uh, this is the same exact settings that I ran my thermal right. HRO2 video, uh, both passive and with the 140 millimeter thermal right fan. So if you guys want to check that out for comparison, and it actually is uh, two degrees, um, almost, almost three degrees Celsius warmer in the room uh, today than it was on that day. It was 20 degrees Celsius when I ran that test, and it's 23 degrees Celsius now. So let's take a look at our temperatures here. Open up real temp, 3.4, as you can see, 58 to 59, and previously the uh, idle, idle temperatures were 30 degrees Celsius that I recorded in this warmer temperature. So you can correct that if you'd like. And I overclocked the CPU just so that I could um, try to mimic a newer CPU, you know, the extra heat that would be developed. Just to give you guys a little accurate reading here. And take a look here. These are the temperatures that I've been running all day. Even with the side panel on, it was the same. We hit 59 Celsius as a high. And I've been running Orthos small FFTs for an uh, hour and 20 minutes almost. And so that is about it guys, that's the temperatures there. I'd like to thank Thermal Right for providing this product for review and testing. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment or send me a personal message on my channel. If you guys haven't checked out my channel yet, please do that and subscribe so you get the latest video updates. So let you guys know what I think here on the CPU cooler. If you guys want a cooler that is one of the best coolers on the market, hands down for air cooling, this is definitely uh, the one you guys should pick up here. And uh, pretty much the baseline for the test here, what I did was I basically took it out of the box, mounted it on, hooked it up, put the fans on there and I ran it first time. I used the included Chill Factor 3 thermal paste. I did everything as per direction. And these are the temperatures that we've achieved. So just to let you guys know, I tried to make this as real world as possible. I could have remounted it a couple times and maybe dropped a degree or two, but this is what most people will do. They'll take it out of the box and they'll mount it right on their CPU. Uh, this is a very tall CPU, uh, CPU cooler, excuse me. And the specs that I've heard that are listed actually only go to this right here. And the fans, depending on what your situation is, you can see it's, it's quite tight in there. This is actually going over the RAM modules. So if you have tall RAM modules, this fan will not fit here. However, if you mount it this way, you're only going to have the width of the cooler. So I believe that will clear these modules that are tall if they're over in the other slots further over. And uh, about the fans, if you guys are wondering, uh, they're running full speed 
and every other fan in here is by far way louder. These fans are nearly silent when they're running. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good CPU cooler, so it's definitely worth the money that you pay, and uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video, and please uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and share this with all your friends. And uh, more videos to come, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.